Hello. Today what we'll be doing is practicing what would be considered a more advanced maneuver, but we'll build off the skills that you've already demonstrated. So we want to make sure we have the right drone and the right setup. So let's go through and do a couple of things. Number one, under your gadgets, make sure you've chosen nav guides, which are right here, radio, which is a replication of the remote control in your hand, and viewport, which is right here. And ensure that your viewport under view camera type is live FPV feed. Okay, and the way you do that is you make sure that's highlighted first. View, camera type, live FPV feed. That's exactly what we want. We can see out of the front of the drone. The other thing you may want to do is start at beginner, move your way up to intermediate and realistic. But by the end of, the, of your week of practice, I want you to be able to do these maneuvers using a realistic quadcopter X drone. That's the aircraft again. You're looking at aircraft quadcopter X. So if you don't have that one, do select aircraft and make sure you select the quadcopter X drone. Once you're all set, what you're going to do is you're going to come up and do your uh, pre-flight checklist. So go ahead and go through those mechanisms first. Uh, you're going to say them out loud as you're taping your video. Then you're going to do your control check. Come up to about four feet. So once you hit four feet, hover, test your yaw, yaw right, yaw left, and back to center. You're also going to roll right, roll left, pitch forward, pitch back. All right, now I want you to come down to this angle and look for that yellow flag. You'll see it there. And you'll notice down at, if you roll all the way to the right, there's another yellow flag. So what you're going to practice is taking your drone up and around the flag like this, back and around, through, up, to the flag, go over the flag, back and around, and then again, up, past the flag, over to the flag, and start slow, don't go as fast as I'm going here, but you want to keep that camera so the live FP view feed is facing out towards the billboard at all times. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a series of figure eights. Now, I want you to start slow. I want you to increase in speed and accuracy each time. So you're going to go very slow. And what you're going to do is you're going to videotape yourself doing your pre-flight checklist, doing your cross check, going out and positioning yourself, and then doing 10 figure eights, exactly the way I was doing them there. Okay, try to make it, get your eights to be as perfect as you can. Start on beginner mode. Move your way to intermediate mode. Then move your way to realistic. And how you get to those modes? Simulation, physics, and you can see I did mine on intermediate. In the end, you're going to do it with realistic. Zero wind, zero turbulence at this point just want you to master using the drone. Do it at a four foot altitude. And then once you've completed, remember at the end of your video to come up over the H. Nicely center yourself and have a successful landing. That's it for this week in terms of your simulation practice. Figure eights are a little harder than they seem. And remember, at some point in your coursework in Warren County Community College, you will use this skill set and the ones we teach throughout this simulation to achieve your AUVSI top certification, especially if you want the flight certifications like level two. So what I need you to do, practice well, do your best, start slow, speed up, 
make it so and practice so that the controller in your hand and the drone on the screen, the figure eights become second nature to you. Have a wonderful week.